Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Sunday's Game Night. And tonight we are playing investigators trying to uns trying to stop unspeakable horrors from taking over Arkham. In Arkham Horror. Tonight I am joined by some familiar faces and some newcomers. Um, Grave, welcome back to the show. Hey. We also have Frothgar, who's staying up late to battle as a top. As usual. Good evening. <laughs> and then we've got three newcomers. We've got longtime listener, first time player, Band Michael. Michael, welcome to the show. Hi, everybody. <laughs> I was banned once by <laughs> totally justifiable causes. And <laughs> I am here now as a player. My, how the lowly have risen. It's great. And you too can rise from your band status for four easy payments of fourteen ninety nine. <laughs> it was the best money I've ever spent. We've also yeah, just... got Fall of Snow. We're gonna call you Ooh. Fall today, but you watch okay. Burgle Bros, and we're like, hey, board games seem awesome to play with, and now you're on the show. <laughs> yeah. uh... Welcome to the show. And last, but certainly not least, we have Fredo, who I poached from, I believe, the Mask Squad chat. Thank you. Fredo, welcome to the show. Thank you. As you can see, we are playing the ever-popular Complicated Arkham Horror. I've decided, in the interest of time, we're going to Basil Azathoth. Because when he awakens, everything ends and the world is destroyed. So we don't have to worry about the rules for fighting the ancient ones. So, you know, it's good, right? <laughs> <laughs> so correct, correct me if I'm wrong, but that means we have to beat the game before the time runs out or we're just toast. Yeah, or we're screwed. Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> easy. Uh, everyone, it's been <laughs> fun. <laughs> <laughs> train wreck because it's gonna be great so we're gonna go around the table clockwise and introduce who we're gonna be playing tonight and then we're gonna get started because we should have everything set up so i'm playing amanda sharp the student i have some skills and a lucky cigarette case because you know it's the 20s <laughs> And um, whenever I draw one or more cards from the skill deck, I can draw one extra card and then discard one of the cards. And yeah, so that's me. I've got a dollar to my name. I've got a clue token. I'm ready for this. <laughs> <laughs> Sitting to my left I'm is playing, Fredo. I'm playing Carolyn Fern, who's for some reason carrying around a stick of dynamite, holy water, <sighs> and an Asian tablet. I mean, I think she's just prepared for this shit. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. During the upkeep phase, I may regain sanity, which is quite useful. Or you can restore have... someone else's sanity. Oh, yeah, if we're sharing the same space. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> I have $7 as well. Yes, you do. Money. And a clue token. Mm, one. All right, Fall, who are you playing? I am playing Dexter Trey. The infamous, the great, the powerful. <laughs> yeah, he just has a bunch of stuff. He has a cloak that keep that makes him more hidden. He has a key that uh, you know can unlock his evade evasion skill, so makes him evasive somehow. I don't know. He has <laughs> stealth. He can exhaust a reroll and evade check. That's just pretty awesome, I should say. Uh, he has three magical spells: shriveling. Mists of Red Eye and Red Sign of Shuttle Shud Shud Shud. How do you pronounce that? Shud Shud Amel. Sure. Yeah? Sure. <laughs> Done. Who knows? But he has a magical gift of whenever the Great Drake draws one or more cards from the spell deck, he draws one extra card and then discards one of the cards. So he's a he's a spell font. Spell master. All right, Grave. Who are you playing? Uh, my name is Joe Diamond. Private eye. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Smooth. And what have you got <laughs> working with working for you? Eight dollars, three clue token, uh, ancient tome. Uh, my trusty uh, bullet. 
Your 45 automatic, 45. you mean? <laughs> I don't know where I got well, the dynamite. <laughs> well, but hey, I got it. You and Carolyn must shop at the same store. <laughs> I guess. I mean, dynamite grew on trees in the 20s, right? Yeah, totally. <laughs> All right, Michael, who um, are you playing? To? Oh, was there anything else, Grave? Or... Uh, oh, you didn't say your no, skill? Can... Say your special skill? Oh. Uh, hunches. Uh, I can roll one extra bonus die when spending clue token. Nice. All right, Michael, who are you playing? Uh, he hello, I'm I'm Kate Winthrop. Uh, I I used to be a scientist. Uh, uh, I'm, you know, I have some clues and I have some money, and I I made this really weird thing that I don't exactly know how it works, but anyway, like. Weird alien stuff doesn't show up when I'm around. And I can sort of deny areas. And I know some weird spells that don't make a lot of sense to me right now, but I'll figure it out as we go. I have this weird, two weird books that I th think will help me figure stuff out about what's going on. And I'm pretty good at figuring shit out. Well, welcome, to the, welcome to the team, Kate Winthrop. Thanks. <laughs> and finally, Frothgar. <coughs> what are you hello? Playing? I am the researcher, Mandy Thompson, and I have some holy water and a little cigarette case as well, and I drive a motorcycle, because I'm cool like that. Uh, yeah. I also start with four clue tokens, and once per turn, Mandy can activate her ability uh, after any inv investigator, including herself, makes a skill check. That investigator can then re-roll all of the dice re-rolled uh, for that check that did not result in successes. So that's pretty cool. And someone remind me, what is a success in this game? A five or a six on a six-sided die. That is what I thought. So we have dice here that we're going to be rolling. Um... There, I I made I got fancy dice because the dice included in this I didn't like them, and the six the six on the side are little altar signs. Isn't that cute? <laughs> oh, cool! Very cool. Awesome dice. Ooh. So you guys can play with that while I draw the first mythos card and get this party started. Whoop whoop. <clears throat> Which burning anniversary? Hey. An ancient curse strikes Arkham, releasing two monsters into the Rivertown streets. A clue appears at the science building. Frothgar, will you place a clue at the science building? Um, yes. Where Kate mm -hmm. Winthrop is located. Oh. Uh, right here. The characters are very tiny. I know they are, and they all blend yeah, in. Yeah. <laughs> so... A gate opens in the unvisited aisle. Someone find that for me. Uh, oh, it's up here. To the left in the merchant district. Oh, where that thing is. Okay, hold on a minute. Boop. Unvisited aisle. Is so when the three? gate opens, it, it swallows the clue token and uh, goes away. It's gone? Yeah. Well, that sucks. And then Great we monster. must place three monsters because we have the ancient curse and also a monster comes out of the gate. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. First monster so of the fall. night. Very quickly. <laughs> we Certain... have a fire vampire. Yeah, it's not so bad. Oh. And then fire we vampire. need to place another fire vampire on the river town oh. street. So oh, here. And then, oh! A warlock for you. And that also goes in the Rivertown streets. And then they move. So if they have a little um, half moon symbol, they would move on the white path. If they have a plus symbol, they move on the black path. If they have neither, they do not move. They have neither, so they do not move. And that's the little green symbol in the bottom right corner that we're looking at. Okay. So they're just going to stay there. <clears throat> All right. I have decided, as the host of this game, to take the first player marker. 
So I will be going first. I have a speed of two. Um. Oh gosh, I have the powder of Ibn Ghazi. Plus nine to combat checks, but then I lose a sanity and I have to discard it. <laughs> well, go get professional help then. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I am. I'm right next to Carolyn Fern, so. <laughs> Uh, okay, so where am I? I'm all the way up here at the bank. I could go to Independence Square and get the clue. That seems like probably the best thing for me to do. And then have an encounter there. Yeah. Probably. So I'm going to go down to downtown uh, and then go to Independence Square. I'm going to take the clue token... And then we'll just do it that the player to your your left does the encounter. So that is downtown or yeah, that's downtown, I think. <clears throat> oh, Stanley, did you tweet about the show? I did. I said that we were a little bit delayed, but that we would be starting soon. That's weird. I didn't get a notification from it. I didn't make tag will... anybody, <laughs> so maybe oh, that's okay. why. Sorry, go ahead. Make, make a will mm -hmm. minus one check. If you pass it, Anna Caswell, the fortune teller, offers her help in your investigation. Take her ally card if it is still available. Otherwise, gain two clue tokens. If you fail, nothing happens. Okay. So I have three will, so I'm rolling two dice. And I fail, so nothing happens. And then you can place the discard just beneath the uh, stack, and it should lock into place. Okay. <clears throat> I think that is it for my turn. All right. I have four movement. Thankfully, I got a skill which increases mine. Oh, bless, bless you. you. Oh, sorry, mm -hmm. I came out of nowhere. I'm, thinking... <laughs> I'm actually going to use my ancient tablet. So I spend three movement points and discard it to roll two dice. And for every success, I draw a spell. For every failure, I gain a clue token. Okay. Or two clue tokens, actually. That's one success and right. one fail. So you get a spell and two clues. Awesome. Solid. One spell. Oops, that's the wrong thing. Um. I have one movement point left, so I'm just going to step out into the street. Okay. Remember to discard your ancient tablet if you have to. Oh, yeah. And then, I don't remember, do you have an encounter in the street, or is it only at locations? Only at locations. Okay. <clears throat> Alright, Fall, you are up. I have no idea what I can do. Okay, you can move. The idea is we want to grab clue tokens so we can seal gates. Oh, I know. Um, question about the area that I'm in. Do I have to have an encounter here to use its ability? Um, most of the most of the things, it's you use the ability instead <laughs> of having an encounter. Okay, yes. so I can use the ability to pay is it five dollars. Yeah, to draw two spells, two points instead. But then you wouldn't be able to move this turn. Um, which I think is okay. I kind of want to do that. Yeah, go for so it. Here's, here's my where's my five dollars now. Okay, it's five dollars. Uh, if you want, I don't know where to put it. So. Um, I'll take it. Um, put it okay. <laughs> you shouldn't just be able to put it on the stack, and it'll go in. Yeah. Okay. So I draw two spells. You draw three spells, right? Because you're the magician. Three. Yeah. Oh, yeah. right. Right. Yeah. Uh, just your gift thing. Yes. So, but then you'll discard two. Huh. 
Right. Whenever the great, great. <laughs> I know, uh, right? <laughs> Whoa. I love the quotation marks. <coughs> wow, that flipped them weird. So <laughs> it's either a wither, wither. a wither. Casting cost game cost three. How much is it? As a thought. Ooh, I like that one. That's Though it has thing. quite a high sanity cost. Yeah. I don't think you have to. Doesn't your ability say you don't have to discard any? No, I have to discard one. It, or two, sorry. Yeah. Well, it says I discard one. Draw an extra card, and, extra card, and discard one. So. But the, you're already discarding one from the magic shop, so you would right. okay. discard two. So they they yeah. stack. Okay. Uh, kind. Uh, I mean, whether whether's free. What do you currently have at your arsenal? Shriveling. I'll Red take the sun. wither. The yeah, I think the wither's good for you. It's. It's free. You don't have to worry about the sanity cost. <clears throat> yeah, well, that seems like a good choice. Okay. Grave. You can move a number of spaces equal to your movement. Right now, we're kind of just trying to get items and clue tokens and possibly fight monsters if we feel like we can. How do I? Where's my move? Um, Is it'll it be speed? it'll be your speed. Uh, four. <clears throat> uh, and you're here at the police station. Uh, is someone planning on getting the this clue? Because I can get that clue. No, or I'm, I can just... uh, which I'm one probably gonna do? run all the way down to the bottom of Arkham anyway, so. Uh, 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 do you want to fight? Wait, hold on. How how uh, strong are they? <laughs> so you can flip them over to look at their combat abilities. Unfortunately, Ooh. this one has physical immunity. Oh. And the other one has magical immunity. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <clears throat> yeah. Mm hmm. So, even if you kill one, you get the attack of the other. <laughs> Is that it? Um, don't remember. No, you, you you fight them in order basically. So you you do one and then the other. Right. But yeah, since they're both immune to something, it's quite awful. Or you could try to uh -huh. evade them. You would roll a sneak check to go past them if you wanted to. <clears throat> uh, nah. Uh, uh, trying to sneak past ambush is quite dangerous, though, because if you fail the initial sneak check, you're stuck. Yeah. I'm just gonna go to Roadhouse then. And then we need to keep our eye out for maniacs because. They will have, <coughs> they will increase their toughness by one because of Azathoth. Oh. So yeah, you can oh, take yeah. that clue token. And then, Michael, you will draw from the East Town deck. And uh. read that for Grave. It's right here. Yeah. It's off to the side. Oops! Wait, 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 wait. wait. <laughs> it's quick dragon ball. Yes. Sorry, I was struggling <clears throat> with this card. Okay. I'm press F to flip it, yeah. Okay. <coughs> Sorry for the coughing. Okay, uh, okay, where are you at? Roadhouse. Mm. Roadhouse. Yep. Um, it's change. I can't see it when everybody says they're on it. Mm. Oh, uh, if you hold Alt, basic. you can read it. A stranger buys a drink. You must search the common items deck for whiskey and take it. Yes. Nice. I'm just getting drunk. And then you can just <laughs> discard that here. <clears throat> Thank you. I'm trying to get this word to work. Cut out right here. Sorry. <laughs> 
It's all right. Some yeah, liquid Michael, courage. You, you, your microphone is very scratchy right now. Yeah. I don't know what happens. So I'm searching for I'm whiskey honest, so. for you. Because Unless you already took so. it. Oh, there it is. Oh, appreciated, stranger. <laughs> <clears throat> all Whiskey. right. What's the effect oh. of this? Drink oh, we're using his sanity loss. Yep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Michael. Alcohol. Restore sanity. So you can move uh, another number of spaces equal to your speed. Interesting. Okay. okay. So first, and I'm sorry about the audio quality. I'm trying to get it. Fixed. Um. Uh, you have to click me just for being. You have to end your you have to end your turn there, to get a clue. Nope. Hello, am I back? Yes. Oh my god, yes. I think I fixed. It. Okay. Yes. Sorry about that. So if you are in a space that has a clue token in it and end your turn there without moving, you can collect that clue token. But oh, okay. All right. So I'll tell you what I'm going to do then. I'm okay. going to spend, uh, I'm going to spend my all of my movement to King of the Yellow Tome. Okay. So I roll. Uh, I roll lore minus two. Okay. So for me, that's one die. Okay. <laughs> Don't forget, don't forget your skill. Oh, oh so that was two dice. two dice. Two dice. And if I pass, I get four clues and lose one sanity. Okay, go for it. Oh. And then to exhaust it, you flip it over. Okay, so you got a five. So you got a success. And then I discard the yellow tone. But you also get four clue tokens. Oh, yeah, let me I'll let it. someone else figure that out. Uh, and I get four clue tokens. And one sanity check. One sanity Michael, lost? If you, if you pick yeah, up one a card, sanity loss. then you can flip it uh, around by scrolling when, you, when you're holding it. Thank you. And uh, that's all my movement. <clears throat> okay. Um, so then I get a clue for ending my turn there, or do I have an encounter first? Uh, you'll grab the clue. And then Frothgar, um, mm -hmm. she, <laughs> Kate Winthrop, is at Miskatonic University. So you'll draw yeah. from that deck. Miskatonic. Uh, <clears throat> let's see. And she's in the science building. Uh, <clears throat> yes. A chemical brew bubbles on a nearby Bunsen burner. It smells delicious. If you drink it, make a luck plus zero check. If you pass, the strange liquid fortifies you. Roll a die and gain that many points. Split between your stamina and sanity, however, uh, however you like. If you fail, the liquid turns out to be coffee. Gain <laughs> one stamina. <laughs> so you could. Get, Are you uh, able to gain that back. above your? Maximum, though? I don't know. I'm going to drink uh, some magical coffee, then. Okay. Roll luck plus zero, so that's three dice. Uh, shall we look in the rules? I will be looking at the rules while you are rolling dice. Okay, then I want to look as well. Well, I'm looking at the ones here, because I can't really pull up the... Uh... Okay, I'll... I'll do it then. Uh, I don't think I succeeded on any of those. It's a five or a six, right? Yeah. Okay, I failed. Okay, so, so it's coffee. I still need to know because you're gaining stamina, and I don't know if you can gain that above your. No, you cannot. <laughs> okay. It's, it would make sense that you couldn't. I kind right. of figured you couldn't, but hey, you know, it's fine. All yeah. right. Thanks to everybody. <laughs> All right, Rothgar. Yes. I, where was I? I was oh, at uh, the library. Okay, and the library does nothing special? No, you're just what, there. What does the tokens on it mean? Does that mean anything? Uh, that, that, this little... That's the potential things you may gain from encounters. So, oh, okay, okay. the book is 
a skill, I believe? Spell, I think. On the spell, yeah. yeah. And then the other thing is a unique guy. Yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, I was thinking of going here and getting that clue token. It's one, no, one, two, three. Okay. Uh, what did I set my movement at? I set my movement at three. So you could make it. Yeah. Uh, or you could also go to the witch house. Either one. It doesn't yeah. really matter. If you have a silver twine, then you can... Uh, let's go to the witch house, actually. <clears throat> here. <clears throat> and I'll take the clue token. Okay. And then you are in French Hill, so I will read you a French Hill encounter. You feel the house actually breathe and speak oh. your name. Lose one sanity. Damn. Sorry. <laughs> that one kind of oh. sucks. <laughs> Oop. I'm on four. Okay. What do you expect? Oh, well. <laughs> the place is called the witch house. <laughs> yeah, <it's> true. <laughs> okay, so that is the end of the... Wait a minute. Did we do this wrong? Are we supposed to do a Mythos card at the end of each person's turn, or...? Well, no, no. It just says it's player. when all the players have done their stuff. That's what I thought. <laughs> I just wanted yeah, to make sure. It's, it'll be extreme Arkham in that case. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm just gonna go and pass the first player token. We're gonna How draw... Huh? How do you get money? Get money? Um... There are a couple different places to let you earn money. Uh, uh, like the newspaper is pretty good. <clears throat> Heat wave, environment, weather. Oops. Oh. Boop, 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 boop. Oh, Fight checks in Arkham up. are made at a minus oh, one so penalty. Nice. Lore checks in Arkham are made at a plus one bonus. Fire vampires have increased their toughness by one. <laughs> oh, <shit>. A clue <laughs> appears at Independent Square. A gate opens in the woods. Put it down here. Uh, and, and it eats the clue token. Uh, clue? Independence, Independence Square. Where is that? Way uh, up at the top. A monster comes out. Uh, it's a zombie. And then monsters with a square or diamond. Can you flip that back over real quick, Grave? Yep. Okay, that's fine. Hmm. Which is nothing. Would move the white path. Circle monsters which is just this guy, moves the uh, black path, which is uh, nowhere? Wait. Uh, no, it's up into the east oh, town. Oh, east town. There okay. we go. Okay, cool. Oh, I'm back. Cool. Okay, Welcome so back. How do you get money? Encounters, Something I think. Something newspaper? Right. Yeah, and en encounters is normally the way to get money okay. unless you have anything else. and just as a um a note for people who haven't played arkham horror before or aren't super familiar with the rules um there is a monster limit which is for our six player game is nine monsters if there are ever m more than nine monsters if we're going to draw more than nine monsters into arkham we increase the terror track and or, wait, no, we put them in the outskirts, and if that fills up with two monsters, oh. then we increase the terror track. Okay. okay. So, Arkham Asylum, you can gain sanity, and the <coughs> hospital, you can gain stamina. Yes. I just need to clarify which one of those. <laughs> those <All right>. matter. <laughs> And Very you can important. get a blessing at the church if you have um, five church. toughness worth of monster trophies. Or a oh, gate trophy. All right. Yeah, a lot of them require trophies. <laughs> Should this still be here, or what? Because there's a clue token in someone's place. Yeah, yeah, that spawned there just now uh, from the event. Yeah. Uh, the Mythos cut. So Do you immediately that's... get it, or no. do you have to wait until your turn? And, and turn on it to get it. Oh. Yeah. I'm trying to put it in the middle. All right, Fredo, you are. <coughs> Why is that? All right. Um, it's oh. just not snap into the yeah, middle. Yeah, it's it's set to grid, but not it's snap. Not. That's weird. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna fix that while um. 
I am going to run all the way to the bottom. Let's see. One, two, three, four. Oh, what up, Dexter Drake? Uh, <laughs> You're gonna buy me some spells. You have magic lessons from the great Drake. <laughs> the great. Indeed. Astounding <laughs> Dexter Drake. So let's but see what your options are. Great. No, I am picking the mists, no doubt. Sir, Jeez. you would call me the great. Okay. That's my turn. That's all I do. All right. Fall. I'm... Uh, oh, I was wondering about that. Okay. Uh, uh, let's see here. Where do I want to go? I'm going to move one, two, three. And uh, clue token, I can just take it? Yeah, if you're is? ending your turn there, you take the clue token. Grave, yes. you, will, you will draw and read a south side card for fall. Right south side. And he's at the historical society. If it's relevant. Which it is. That's all luck. Minus one. Uh, two. Check. Is so it's two means, successes. That means yeah. two successes. <clears throat> to gain insight into a skill while studying the old volumes of books, draw one skill but stay here next turn. Ooh. So my luck is. Wait, where did I put it? Oh, it's it's one. So you can't pass that. <laughs> Unless you Whoops. have something that lets you increase I... your luck. Don't. I don't. Okay. So what happens? I don't think anything Nothing. happens. Nothing happens? So basically it's if I do it, then stuff happens. Okay. <laughs> oh, crap. I really wanted that too. Yeah, it's a shame. Alright, Grave, okay. you're up. <laughs> yeah. uh, uh, warlock? Fuck it, I don't have magic, but... Uh, guns and dynamite. Well, then, then go shoot him. <laughs> yeah, shoot him in the face. He's a mutant oh, magic, not physical. Weapons. Okay, so when yeah. you first encounter a monster, it, are, are you going to evade him or engage him in combat? Engage. All right. You must pass a horror check. Uh oh. <laughs> Someone tell me how to do a horror check. <laughs> So, you look at the blue number in the bottom left, and it says a minus one, so you check that versus your will, and roll, basically. Will. So My you roll will your is... will minus one. Ooh. So just one dice, or...? I guess, uh, if, you're, if your will's two, then yeah, roll one die. My will's two. Uh-oh. Uh, hold on. Do you have any buff? Nope. Nope. <laughs> I'm, like, phenomenal at evading stuff, but that's about it. Okay. Yikes. So he failed that the horror check. You take uh, sanity damage according to the number of blue circles beneath the number. So you take one sanity damage. Oh, that, that could okay. have been worse. That's not too bad. That's not too well, bad, yeah. And you, you're right next to the, the asylum, so you can get it back. It's true. Uh, okay, so what? now he wants to... Now you want to fight it, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. Kick it in the face. Okay. So, again, uh, Fredo, you seem the most uh, familiar with the rules. <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> the number, the drops in the middle is his hit points, basically. You need two successes to kill him. And then you take your fight plus any weapon you have and roll minus three because that's the red number in the bottom right. And oh. hope to God you kill it. Uh, okay, so fight. So, your, fight three. Is, so your fight's three. And then there's also something important to note, and that's the hands at the bottom left of a weapon. So if it shows two hands, you can only use that weapon. If it shows one hand, you can use that weapon plus any other weapon that is also one hand. Is, does that same thing apply to spells? Yes. Okay. Oh, just dynamite him. Just fucking dynamite. Yep. Okay, so that would give you a total of 11, but minus 3, 
would be oh, eight. Lovely. So you're just rolling eight. the eight dice and hope you get two successes. Eight dice? Holy shit. But you right. discard the dynamite, though. Yeah. You know what? I'm just going to copy some in for you. That works the easiest. There you go. <laughs> Throwing dynamite at a warlock. Yeah, you kill him. Yeah. So, so uh -huh. normally, you yeah. keep oh, right, these so... as trophies, but this is a special case, and he goes back into uh, <clears throat> back into the box, and you gain two clue tokens instead. Huh. Two clues. Where, where do I get clues? Here, uh, here, I'll, I'll get them. <laughs> And then I'm just gonna delete. Well, Strange gonna things delete. lurks in the city. Mm -hmm. But thankfully, I have my trusty dynamite. No, you don't. You got. You threw it. It's gone. Well, yeah, I had. <laughs> <laughs> you just dynamited some dude in a suit. What <laughs> this is Joe fucking Diamond. That's what he does. Because I'm Joe fucking Diamond. Yeah, exactly. He shoots and throws dynamite at things. What more do you want? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Shoot first, ask later. Yeah. So, question: When do we add Doom tokens to the Doom track? Just when it tells us. Oh to? right. No, it's whenever a gate opens. That's what I thought. So let me go ahead and add those two. Because uh, I is figured. Is there any benefit to go through the gates? We yes. want to close them. So, to win the game, we need to close six gates and have six trophies among all of us or seal six gates whichever comes first how do first. you seal uh... so you go to a gate and then whatever place it shows like this says the great hall of Siliano. so you go to that place to the side of the board you have okay. some other world encounters and then when you get through two turns later you can close the gate and then you roll fight or lore whichever is highest versus the number on the, the gate. Then if you succeed, you can spend five clue tokens to seal it, which means we take an older sign and place it on the well, same five location. Five clues? Yes. So or right now, I'm the only it. one that has the possibility to do that. Yes, uh, you can still close uh, it normally, sure. which means the game goes away. But if a Mythos card uh, shows this, the same location as an elder sign, it cannot open. It just goes away. Yep. So having Elder Signs on the board is very good. Yes, it is. Okay. I have six clues. So... Oh, I have five clues as well. So, so basically, you need one... to start start closing gates. Yes. Who's who's close enough to make it to a gate this turn? Uh... Um, where am I? I am up here. I cannot make it to a gate. <laughs> In fact, I can, I... but there's a. Uh, where are the gates? There's one beneath the zombie here. There's one oh. beneath the fire vampire here. And that's it so far. Oh, I can get to all of them. Yeah, I can't get to any, any of them. We have, a, uh, we have a minus one modifier to our movement, right? No, Did we say it that was, at the very beginning? No, it was uh, fight checks. So actually, your oh, fight okay. check should have been made with a minus one penalty, but... Oh, I think he's okay. fine. And the fire that's... vampire... Oh, he didn't fight the fire vampire, so it's fine. I can make it to all of them right now. So it so, might be a good idea to head towards the one in the woods, because the zombie looks like it's going to be easier to fight right now, and the fire vampire has increased toughness because of the environment. Yeah. So I moved the wrong tokens. Hold on. Let me fix it. Uh... I can, in the meantime, I can move to the merchant district, and uh, with the intent to head to the... Um, Unvisited Isles and seal that gate. I can get there on my turn. You can? Yeah. Uh, where Can you ping where you are? You've already moved this round there. Yeah. You can't get to the un... Oh, you can get to the woods, not the Unvisited Isles. The Unvisited Isles is here. I have five movement, though. You have... Damn, son. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Do your thing. But... Whatever. The thing is, is that you've already gone this turn. I have? No, um, Dexter Drake has already gone this turn. Okay. Oh, yeah, I did, didn't I? Okay, that's right. Well, I'll start right. heading in that direction at the very least. I can increase my movement <clears throat> by one using a focus, 
forgot uh, what order it was. And uh, then I'll have four movement, and then I can get to uh, either of them. Oh, and I forgot but to do I the upkeep. I can't thing. fight at all. Whose turn is it right now? Um, I think it's, it's mine. It is your turn, it's, Michael. It is Michael's turn. Okay, I'm just trying to figure out what we want to do. And I can't use my focus now to get more speed, correct? No, no it's that's only the, during that's upkeep. Your turn. Oh, that's sorry. what I thought. Only during upkeep. Uh, when is upkeep? It's at the end of the round. I forgot to do it last round. I'm sorry. So we'll... Okay, okay, okay. Then, okay. Okay, I, then I, can't, I can't get anywhere near anything. I that's will say me. go ahead and do it at the start of your turns if you'd like to for this one because we did miss it at the beginning of the round. Okay, but my thing is I can't fight anything. Uh, I have holy water, but that's it. Uh, um, or I have zero in fight. Well, I'm going for the uh, I'm going for the gate. In the woods or in the aisles. In, in the aisles, okay. Okay, so do you does Michael have to fight the vampire, or does Michael get sucked into the gate? He fights first and then gets sucked in. Okay. Can I try to evade the vampire? Right, so no. you roll your sneak, plus whatever bonus. I mean, I'm an extra. Okay. okay. So... So what is your sneak? Sorry, I did. I moved the wrong thing. My sneak is three. There's your three dice. How many successes do I need? I think just one. one. No. Oh, None. bust. Is there any way I can re-roll one of those with like a clue token or something? Uh, I believe so. If you spend the clue token, you get one additional die to roll. I... No, 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 no. Stop. I can uh, use my ability in this turn, and then you can re-roll. Oh, that's true. You can. You can. Yeah. So okay. you can go ahead and re-roll all three. Re-roll. Yeah. That's my ability. Uh... And I did worse. <laughs> All well, right. you didn't really do worse. You just did about the same. <laughs> so, uh, I'm guessing I have to fight this guy now. No, you could spend a clue token if you wanted to, to add a die. Uh, or do know, you want to fight how many do I need? To... I need five to close a gate, right? Yep. Okay, I'm going to spend one. Okay. Um, let me give you another die roll. Good luck. Oh, I wanted hey. to be a six. <laughs> really wanted to. All right. Well, all right. What happens now? Do I get, like, harm dealt to me or something? Now, I think, is now you do a horror check? Um, I'm going to check just to be sure, actually. Um, I don't remember exactly. Fail. Lose stamina equal to heart, -like con heart icons and begin combat. There you go. So, so you take harm. He smacks you for two. Ouch. Okay, and then combat starts. So, yep. And then for combat, you have to make a horror check. So. Uh, not versus a fire vampire for some reason. So if oh. a monster just has a dash in the blue, you just don't. Make okay, a so check. I guess they're not that scary. <laughs> um. Yeah, don't they deal they more? Do... Don't they deal more stamina damage to me because of right now? No, like they just have increased toughness. Yeah, they have two toughness instead of one. So it basically okay. means they have more life. But they also have physical immunity, so you're yeah. going to have to use mm -hmm. a spell. Uh, alrighty then. So you're going to have gonna... to use your dread curse if you want to actually defeat it. Cast uh, fireball. Do, do I have to defeat it to go into the gate? If you do not defeat it, he will kill you. Alright, well, let's kill it. <laughs> uh, so it costs two sanity. Oh, no. oh. So it has a casting spells, of fire two. Yeah. To cast spells, you take the sanity damage and then. Oops, that was a stamina. Your lore minus the casting yeah, modifier too, to see if you even get the spell's effect. Okay, okay so I roll one die. One die. And I will give you some sanity damage because you take it already, right? Yes. Ooh. Yay! It's a five! 
Yeah. You gain yeah. plus nine. Plus nine. Wow. Oh, wait a minute. So that that doesn't blow up even... his face, right? But, but that's magical combat, right? Mm -hmm. With, so that would count as magical damage? Yes. Okay. Yep. So it works. Combat. So now I roll nine dice. With... Minus, the, minus the Fire Vampire's two, so you have seven dice. Minus one, because all fight checks have a minus one Ooh. right now because of the yep. environment. So how, that's six? Yeah, that's six. <laughs> You got two six. successes. Sweet. You kill him. So yeah. now you keep him as a trophy. <laughs> Your soul is mine, vampire. <laughs> and then you get now sucked you into get the gate. Now you get sucked into the gate. Yeah. So you go to the Great so... Hall of Solano, which is right here. You start on this side of it, and then on your next turn you'll move to the next side of it so is he gonna have an encounter there right away yes so you pull a gate card until it matches one of the two uh one of the two colors shown here so you need a blue or a green card okay um frothgar why don't you go ahead and draw those cards until you find one all right that doesn't work nope, nope. There one. There's one. Blue. And it'll uh, be the other. Yep. Well, uh, where should I put it? Wherever. I'm just gonna put the discard here because there isn't a good place for it. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I'm just gonna put it here. Okay, that's fine. Uh, and it's was the other, right? Right, because he's or... not in the abyss and he's not in Yagath. You've okay. completed your task, but you must complete the escape before it. The portal closes. Pass a minus two speed check. So oh. if you fail, you are lost in space and time and space. Yes, it, lost like, in you... time and space is really, really bad. Don't but, get lost in time and space. But you automatically close the gate you entered through either way, so that's actually really good. Okay, well... For, for free? Hmm. Well, it's not sealed, but it'll be closed. He doesn't have to go uh -huh. to the second step. No, you oh. don't discard the the dread curse. I don't believe. Oh, sweet. I think you just exhaust it. So just flip it over. Yep. Okay, so you need to make a speed minus two check. What's your speed at? My speed is at three. So you roll one die on this. Oh, please roll good. You're oh, lost in oh. time and space. So, I'm just gonna clarify. Oh, shit. If you get reduced oh. to zero stamina or zero sanity in another world, you get lost in time and space as well. You must immediately choose and discard half of your items and half of your clue tokens rounded down, along with any retainers. Your so... sanity and stamina are restored to a minimum of one, and then you get put in Lost in Time and Space, and you sit there for two turns before coming back. Okay, up. so here's what you should do. You should spend a clue token and roll an additional die. And then, if that doesn't work, you should spend another clue token and roll an additional die. Um, am I allowed to do that? Because I need five to close the gate. You don't need it to close the yes. gate. You need five to seal the gate, right? Yes. Yeah, because the so, gate is automatically going to close. I would say use is, you have six left. Use another one. Yeah, you just <clears throat> the, the best thing is probably to keep spending them just and, to save your ass. Yeah, I would agree. So yeah. just spend them until you're successful. Maybe you'll get lucky. Okay, spend. Oh the next my god! One. Spend Shit. the next one. <laughs> wow. I know so you really you wanted to seal that dice... gate, but do not get lost in time and space. Uh. If you hover over a dice and press R on the keyboard, then you'll roll the dice. We usually press it like three times or something. All right, spend the next but, yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, can someone else just pick up my tokens? Because I'm going to be doing this for yeah, a while. Yeah, I got it thing. for you. You got two <laughs> this more. This is really sad. Whoa. All right, make another reroll. Nope, I'm no. out. 
I'm out of clue tokens. No, you there have. You go, you you no, I just rolled it twice, and it was a two and then a three. So but I'm then lost you have one left. Space. You have one left. No, no, I I rolled it. How do I have one left? Because they were stacked okay. Get force in the mouth. <laughs> two. Okay. Uh, shit. Well, it's fate. <laughs> I'm lost cool. in time and space. I lost all my clues. The gate does. The gate closes, but doesn't get sealed, and I lose half of all my items. Yes, round it down. So you keep one of these three. One of these... Uh, well, I have two spells and a thing. Do I lose my spells? Yes, they, are, they count as items. What about the law thing? Is that count That's as a item? skill. That's yeah, the, a skill right? the skill is not an item. It's always okay. with you. Cool. Well, I'm going to get rid of the flesh ward and the thingy. And I'll, um, he has six dollars, so does that go down to three? Or does that not? Yo, yo, can I give away like all of my money and keep my other cool stuff? I don't. Because I'd rather that. do that. Let's see. <laughs> this is awful. I'm so sorry. No, no, it happens. <laughs> this, all right, kids. This is what happens when you get banned from a Twitch chat, <laughs> and then you just show up out of nowhere. Like, the hey, universe can I is play like your not. Game? <laughs> yeah, I'm just like, hey, this sounds cool, and I'm not a complete asshole. Can I play? <laughs> And sure. then the universe is just like, no! <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> For some weird reason, you did not lose your money. Don't Stop. lose... Okay, well that's... It's something. <laughs> you keep so it's like I'm... Yep. Well, great. Well, you can go to the bookstore and buy some more spells. So what goes on with it's his sanity and thing. stamina? Um, they're, they, they stay just as they are. Oh, okay. All right. Well, at least I still have my magical nuke thing. That's pretty nice. All right, um, Frocker, I think you're up. <laughs> yep. Uh, okay, so I wanted to try and sneak past the zombie, perhaps. Uh, I, that's what I'm hoping. Uh, I want to increase my movements, like okay. we talked about. Yeah, that's fine for uh, this turn. If you increase your sneak. movement, it does lower your sneak. But yeah, but I can't reach it otherwise. You get you get a plus one to sneak past a zombie because it's slow and stupid. Okay, cool. So I have three dice to sneak past it. Okay, where did I go? I'm here. So one, two, three, and four. Okay. So I'm gonna fight it. Uh, are you? Well, are gonna, you gonna evade? I'm gonna try and sneak past it. All right, you've got four dice in there to roll. So, I have three dice to roll. Oh, I thought you had four. Okay. No, no, no. I have, I have, I have a three in... No, I have two in skill and then plus one because the zombie is stupid. Okay. So, three in all. Okie doke. That's a success? Yeah, so you were able to evade it. Sweet. So the zombie does that just stay there then? Yeah. And I go into the portal. You go into the whatever. dreamlands. The dreamlands. Okay, where's that? That is uh there. And I will draw an encounter for you and any of them should be able to work. The dreamlands. Yes. You drink impure water from the river Craw. Pass a luck minus one check or lose one stamina and stay here until next turn. Due, well, stay here next turn due to illness. Okay. And I have three luck. So that's two. Two dice. Uh, take these. Roll them. Success! Ooh. Ooh. Aha. Sweet. Can yes. I just say, when you're, when you're in an alternate plane of reality... Don't drink the water, kids. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what I thought as well. Why the fuck would they drink water? The reason I was so thirsty, though. On the list of things to do. Don't drink the water. Yeah, like, go to the tourist stops, don't drink the water. So, uh, she's what happens She's a researcher. So, so you just stay uh, there. On your next science. turn, you can move here and have another encounter. Okay, and then <clears> I can hopefully seal the gate, right? Yeah. If okay, you have sweet. if you Did have get... clue tokens, you can seal it. Otherwise, you will. Yeah, you have five, so you can uh, potentially I have five, seal it. I have five. Otherwise, I wouldn't have moved there. Not to not to retcon, but did I get a gate trophy for my weird thing that happened to me when I got lost in time and space? You didn't. Um, 
Um. I think you have to seal it to get a trophy. No, you 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 get a trophy regardless if oh. you close or seal. Then let me okay. find it real quick because I put it back in the bag. Okay. Uh, what was it called? Uh, Great Hall of Solana? Soliana? Yeah. Yes. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that. Uh, there you go. Okay. So I think I'm just going to stay where I am and collect a clue token. Close a gate. Make a lore. Oh, close and seal a gate. Make a lore. Fight check with the modifier on the gate. There's no effect on a fail. If it's a pass, take the gate marker as a trophy. Yeah. Okay. All right. So I'm in downtown. So Freda, will you draw a downtown card? Which location are you in? I am um, in Independence Square. All right. Get right back. Okay. There are gypsies camped in the park. Make a luck minus one check if you wish to interact with them. If you pass, an old man has spread several items on a blanket for sale. Draw one unique item and you may buy it for one dollar less than the list price. If you fail, a hag comes up to you and tells you that death shadows you. <laughs> you scoff at her and she cuts the side of your face Whoa. with her fingernail, <laughs> drawing blood. What? Lose one stamina and you are cursed. Um, I only have one dollar, so I'm not going to do that. <laughs> uh... <laughs> Whoa. Uh, do Just you go for it. No, I only have one dollar. There's, I mean, I'm yeah. pretty lucky, but I only have one dollar. So uh, yeah. the unique well, items are generally expensive. Yeah, as well. exactly. They're more expensive than common items, at least. So when I'm... I get out of the lost and face and time, I'll give you a loan. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that's actually in the loan. I probably can't do that. So and also, just to, just so everyone knows, uh, cursed means you roll. A success on just the six. Yeah. Wow. So I th that, that. <laughs> yeah. So I think now is a good point for us to take our first break. Um, we'll come back and do upkeep and do the new mythos effect in probably about five-ish minutes. So see you then.